Hey guys, how's it going? In this session, I want to talk about the URL mapping. Uh, you know, there are several ways for mapping. And the last session, uh, we showed a very direct uh, mapping from the views.py to the uh, urls.py. And now I want to briefly talk about the include function uh, that we can use it from uh, django.configuration.urls. In this way, each application uh, has its own URLs file uh, and uh, we should manually add a URLs.py file inside the application. Uh, it's because that uh, it doesn't automatically create for your application when you start it. Unlike when you start your project, it does create a URLs.py file for your project. Um, why we should use the include function? Actually, the include function makes the uh, main urls.py keep clean and modular and um, it prevents the main urls.py from becoming too big and uh, hard to read. Imagine uh, when you have uh, lots of applications in your uh, project um, without using the, uh, the include function, uh, you have to write uh, all their uh, URLs, applications URLs, uh, in the um, main URLs and it makes the main URLs.py become too big. So now that uh, we know why we should use the include function, without any further ado, let's jump into the coding. Okay, first of all, uh, we should add the uh, urls.py file inside uh, our application. So I go to the uh, book app as an application and uh, right click and select new file and say urls.py after that go back into the uh, urls.py main urls.py for our project in here uh, we say from django.configuration.urls import include and now we can use the include function uh, for uh, write the uh, application URLs mapping. For do this, uh, let me comment this line. And here I'm gonna say path. For the first argument, we say the name that uh, we use this name before the uh, pass in the URLs. It's better to use uh, the name of application in here. So I say book app and don't forget to put a, a slash after the name of the application. And for the second argument, I'm going to say include include function include function has one argument and this argument actually is the reference of the uh, book app urls.py so uh, we should say book app dot urls and don't forget to put a comma in here okay Actually, this is the reference of the uh, book app.urls in the main urls.py. And if uh, we have several URLs for a uh, book app, we don't have to write all of them in here. Now we should uh, go to the urls.py for uh, our application. So uh, open up the urls.py inside the book app and say from Django urls import path and uh, i'm gonna say url pattern equal and here we should write the url map for uh, the index view for a book app so say uh, index and uh, put the a slash after that and for the second argument, I'm going to call index. So in the top from the views, import index. And in here, I say index and save it. Um, 
If I want to uh, briefly say what I do, in the main urls.py, we have used the include function to reference uh, to the bookapp.urls and into the urls.py, actually uh, for the uh, book app, we can write all of uh, our URLs. Okay, now we can run the server and test this URL. I'm in a right directory. Say python manage.py run server. Okay, server is run and go to the browser. Okay, I open the browser and write the URL. Look at this. Uh, this is the name of app, book app, that uh, we write it into the main urls.py, uh, actually uh, using the include function. And this is uh, the name that uh, we write it into the uh, urls.py uh, inside the uh, book app application. If I change this name, for example, um, I say example, The page not found because this name um, there is no in the uh, main URL. Um, actually, uh, we can uh, write whatever in here, but uh, we should say it into the main URL. If I show you what I say, go back to the VS Code. In the uh, main URLs, if I say uh, example and save it and go back to the browser, this URL should be run because this name uh, there is into the main URL. And if I say book app, this URL doesn't work. You can use any name in here, but it's better to use uh, the name of application in here because uh, it's more readable for uh, any programmer. So in this session, we learned how to use the include function for mapping the URLs. If this video has been helpful to you, subscribe me. And if you have a question, comment in the below. Thank you for watching this video.